Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Good evening, everyone. This is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I am very excited about our show tonight because we're doing something a little bit different. We're not in our kitchen. We are at our studio, and we're with Bob Carl of Magic Nutrition, and we're going to be talking about food science, Magic Nutrition, the company, and also we're going to make healthy shakes with Magic Nutrition and we are also going to do a new healthy lifestyle program with you, aren't we? Correct. Correct. Yes. And I want to welcome you back to my show, Bob. Thanks, Catherine. Um, Good to be I, here. Well, you have a little problem, don't you, Bob? I, I have a little issue with my foot, yes. Right. So, so, so that's why we're sitting down today. I'm going to be the one standing up making the shakes, and you're going to be getting to be the taster. And I'm going to hop. You're going to hop I'm, I'm going to hop a little bit today. Yeah, a little bit. So anyhow, um, I want to, for our audience that really doesn't know very much about you, Bob, um, you are, number one, a food scientist. Am I correct? Yes. And you started with your, let's talk a little bit about your family, your background, why you ever decided to become a food scientist. Well, my family's been in food from day one. Really? And uh, my, my grandfather and my dad uh, started a company many years ago, a food company, and both were chemists, uh, primarily f uh, putting products into byproducts for the dairy industry. Wow. Chocolate milk powders, cheese coagulators, buttermilk improvers, um, anything that would enhance dairy. Eggnog mix, perfect time of the year. And as the dairies waned in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. we had 30 plus dairies at one time in, in the greater Cincinnati area. Who was the first dairy here? You Gosh, know? I you know I don't know that, uh, right. you, but every little town had a dairy. Right, and they used to bring milk to our door. And they brought milk to the door. Which was and, nice. In glass bottles, right. and we were fortunate to have, you know, probably seven days shelf life on that milk. Yeah, and, and my and, brothers and, drank and, it up so fast I never got to see it. And, and they put them in a nice little metal box on your right. stool, on your right. stoop. Yeah, right. absolutely. And you know they still, uh, you know I think I think they still do that in England. They, they may. Um, I know dairies at one time in town actually did them with, um, you know, horse-drawn wagons. Carriages. Sure. Right. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you a little story about Christmas. I used to live on a dairy farm in England. Okay. And one year, the year of 1978, we had the worst snowstorm ever. And we had to get the milk out because we had 100, you know, dairy uh, cows, dairy cow, sure. and so we actually took my little Austin uh, Healy and we drove around with the milk to everybody in the village. That's great. Which was really cool because, and it, and it was different because, you know, it wasn't homogenized, right. right? Oh, yeah. And the thing was is the cream on top of that milk was so thick I couldn't believe it. And today that's Passover milk. Right, yeah. Passover milk. Passover milk. That's how they. That's the only way that they can do that today is uh, uh, without being homogenized. Right. They allow they allow it to be pasteurized, but not homogenized. Not homogenized. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and it's but it's so it tastes so different right from the cow. Oh, let me tell totally you. Totally different. My kids didn't like it at all because they were so used to regular what they thought regular milk was. I find today that the organic milk uh -huh. that, that they sell right. is tastes an awfully lot like the milk I remember as a child. Much right. more like whole milk. Right. Um, it's just got a better taste and texture to it to me than, than the skim that a lot of people are selling, in, a lot of dairies are selling in the store. Right. And you know, it's kind of sad because I really like organic 
everything organic. You and I grew up with organic. There was no word that we called organic back then. Absolutely. True. So tell me how long your mom and dad and your grand, it was your grandfather, grandfather that started the business? Grandfather started in the early 30s. Okay. Ran it into, you know, middle 70s-ish, something like mm -hmm. that. And um, when I came back, with a cooking background that, that I kind of acquired through the years, uh, the fancy food industry had begun. And a friend of mine came to me and asked me if I would make, uh, if I could make high-end dessert sauces. Well, was that how you started? That's how I kind of started it all. Ooh, and desserts, so, I love that idea. So by making ganaches and, and fancy caramels in restaurants, right. um, I took that basic recipe of bittersweet chocolate, cream, sugar, butter, vanilla, and created sauces. And oh, then yeah. the caramels, the difference was that we could, keep, we could do it and put it in a jar right. and keep it without you know, the sugar going out of it and right. it getting yucky and all that kind of good stuff. So, oh, really? So, 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 I mean, so it was pretty on the shelf. It looked pretty on the shelf. Did it? Right. It tasted really good, didn't it? Tasted outstanding. Right. So I mean, we really today we're looking at everything sugar-free, all this other stuff. And really, to be honest about it, the French and the us, the rest of the world, are really not that heavy in comparison to us. So I'm beginning to think, Bob, with all the additives and everything else that we have in our food, that we really are gaining weight because of that. We're gaining weight with a lot of a lot of the junk that that is put in to create uh, cost structure. Right, right. And you know, I look today uh, prior to coming here at some uh, croissants, herb, herb croissants. I was looking at this little French recipe. Right. And it, you know, it takes 180 minutes of prep time just to make these croissants. Oh yeah, because I know. of the way they rise and the dough you have to create, and I'm going, you know, if you made these things and it's a twenty croissant recipe, and you sold them in a bakery, you'd have to sell them for two dollars a piece just because of the time. Because of the time that's involved in making them, and right. we don't deal with that today in America. No, we uh, don't. Uh, we need to eat four of those, not one of those, uh, and that's that's the American philosophy. Right, and the, and the saddest part is that we have so we are probably one of the most obese nations today, with the highest rate of um, diabetes mm -hmm. um, ever. And it's you know it, it's funny when I watch people walk down the street, I'm so surprised. I you know when I was a kid, I was overweight because of a situation. Um, but that was kind of emotional. My mom mm -hmm. went into the hospital and I gained 20 pounds that summer. And that was overweight at that time. We're talking about people being two and 300 pounds overweight, Bob. You know, um, it really upsets me to see people who are overweight parking handicap spots. Because uh, they need to be walking, and that's where that's who have about half of our handicap stickers. I know, and, it, and it's really kind of very, very sad to see them not walk, but almost like waddle. You know yeah, what I mean? They don't do well, and that was the entire concept of Magic Nutrition. Which we are going to taste one of your products. You brought Magic Mind with you, didn't you? We have Magic Mind today. This is our newest product. Um, it's very, very unique because it is a natural lifestyle focus and performance product um, with a 350-year-old South African herb in it. it. The trade name is Zembrin. Um, Scalectium tortusium is the scientific name. Let's stick with Zembrin. Right. And but actually with 25% of your of 16 vitamins and minerals, it's a 100% healthy um, product that provides natural energy, focus, and direction to people's lives. Along with uh, um, our shakes that Catherine is going to make in several segments today, um, creating our healthy lifestyle. You know, today's world is full of stress full of hurry and we are trying uh, to create products, we have created products to help alleviate a lot of those, those issues in today's lifestyle. And I am one of the worst stressed out people but since I've been 
taking this, I'm not stressed out anymore. And I absolutely love the new bottle that you came up with. This is beautiful. If we can get a tight shot on that. And I think this is just really gorgeous. And, I, you know, I want to open one of these up while we're well, taking the break. Well, we can, can you do that? We can peel right around the top now. We, oh, you we, can? We, 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 oh, I see that. We change the structure so you don't have to peel uh -huh. anymore. Oh, I saw and, that. And you just okay. twist and turn. You get to and keep your leg intact. That's right. Cheers. And cheers. And we're going to take a break uh, as we go. And it's magicnutrition.com. And we'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Bob Carl. Thank you.